A few videos ago, I talked about energy conservation. And what I didn't know at the time is that there was actually development going on to fix the energy conservation problems within cycles. After I had posted the video, actually several weeks after I posted the video, several people let me know that in fact there was a developmental version that contained some of these fixes. So I was really excited about this. So I wanted to show you this really quickly because this is a publicly available demo. <laughs> And we're just, we're just going to call it a demo right now because it's actually in the alpha state and it hasn't been officially included in even the official 3.3 alpha. But we're going to go over this just a little bit because it's, it's exciting. So if we take a look at this image right here, this is what 3.2 would render. This contains the standard GGX microfacet shader and the principled BSDF. And it contains the same issues that we talked about in my video on energy conservation. So if I come over here and I switch to what they call principled V2, which is a temporary name, then we get this. So let's go back to without energy conservation and now switching to energy conservation. So and it's more than just energy conservation. They're apparently doing some significant reworking of various algorithms. And uh, let's take a look at this really quick. If we come over, we look at their notes says it's public, so I'm going to show it to you. It says, this is an ongoing project. Nothing is 100% certain yet. Additional components options might be added. Existing components options might be removed, and the behavior of existing options might change. So that's their sort of warning here. But considering how much work has gone into this, so if we come down here and we look at this, they say, by default, energy is lost to high roughness. Um, the mixing of components is neither energy preserving nor energy conserving. They're, they're basically pointing out various issues with the current render system. And when we come down to solutions, they say energy preservation is solved by rescaling the microfacet BSDF. So, you know, they're talking about some very technical things, but also the solution is energy conservation. Albedo tables are also used in order to scale lower layers of the stack according to the albedo layer of the upper layer. This is really exciting news because it doesn't mean you're going to have to go in and do a bunch of node things to get this. It's going to be given to you for free. So let's look at a couple of other examples and then we can look at the new principled V2 user interface. If we come over here with a very, very simple example, we can see the ground here has got a black backdrop behind it. And when I switch over to the new energy conserving mode, look at the background. Do you see how it darkens up? That's, that's a more physically correct rendering of what's going on in the scene given the lighting conditions. And in fact, if you look at this side right here, which we have more of a glancing angle to, its shading is nearly uniform to the front facing and it shouldn't be that way given that this is gonna be more highly reflective. So when I switch to the proper energy conserving mode in the new version they're working on, it's darkened slightly and that's more correct. So let's take a look at another example here. Let's take a look at a microscope rendering that I have right here. So this is without, this is what 3.2 would do, but given the dark background, it should cause some darkening. And that's exactly what we see. So this is a more of a subtle example, but you know, subtlety is sometimes what makes or breaks a great rendering. So when we come over here, let's do another example right here. Let's do these bottles that I've used in various tutorials. This is without energy conservation. And again, we, we look down here and I can see this looks slightly glowy. I'm using that term glowy that I used in the tutorial. And I can see that glowiness around the edge here. I mean, the edge is reflecting the background, but there's still something not quite right about it until we look at the new properly computed version. Do you see how that properly darkens? So this is really exciting. Let's come in really quick and take a look at the user interface. So when, we, when I select something, at least in this build, remember this is an alpha build, they're showing us GGX, multi-scatter GGX, which is a little bit more advanced version of GGX that's supposed to prevent energy loss, and then the new principled V2. So you can download this build, it's in the branches section of the downloads area of blender.org, and you can play with this. Okay, so we come in here and you just set that. Now some things have changed in the UI right here, one of the interesting things that you're going to note in this current build, because it could change, is the fact that there's no longer a specular channel. So what they're doing is they're actually now doing something properly, is that they have IOR down here, 
And in a couple of my tutorials, I talked about the fact that the IOR down here in 3.2 and versions before only controlled transmission, both the refraction and the reflection that were happening on that. So what they've done is they've made it behave more correctly by removing that specular channel and simply having this control the upper specular component of the material. There's internal discussion about whether that's user-friendly or not. It's more technically accurate. Okay, so I just wanted to show you this really quick as sort of a technology preview that we can hopefully look forward to having. I suspect this is going to make its way, if not into 3.3, into a 3.4 um, considering the work they're putting into this to make this more physically accurate.